Okay, if you will make me your focal point over here so we can look at our objective for today. Just a heads up, we are going to be doing this today and tomorrow. Okay, we're not going to get all of this completed today. But today we're going to explore the artwork of or by James Rizzi, mainly his cityscape. So that's the only type of art we're going to be looking at. Um, we're going to be identifying depth and complexity within his art. We are going to be focusing on our three right here. Big ideas, details, and multiple perspectives. Then we're going to start this, but we will not finish this part. Then as a group, we're going to create your own cityscape. So yes, we are going to be creating a group or a, a group piece of art today. Okay. Sometimes we do a solo piece of art. Sometimes we just use art to identify math concepts. But today we are going to be creating, but it is going to be in a group. Okay. Um, but that is going to be showing certain arrays in your artwork. Yesterday you worked with arrays with multiplication. Mm -hmm. Today we're going to be identifying some of those. And when you get to the create part, you're going to show that in your art. So we're going to go ahead and start. So if you'll um, shift your body so we can focus on the smart board. Marlos, if you will turn the light off for us so we can have. We're going to get started looking at his artwork today. So right now, first, as an observer, with art just want you to use your eyes to see what do you notice oh just use your eyes just your eyes we're going to turn and talk in just a moment maybe what are some of the details you see if you are even going to make a prediction on what is the big idea for this piece of art So we are going to be with partners today. We're going to do a couple of different methods to talk. So if you will go ahead and show me within your row who you are speaking to, because today you are going to be looking at the piece of art and talking. Or right, if y'all will speak just a little bit closer, CC, so that you can um, actually hear her, that may help. All right. Iker, do you know who your partner is? Hector, do you know who your partner is? Okay, just making sure y'all are a little bit far. All right, so what we're going to do first is we are going to do details first, okay? Details are what you can usually find the most of. So we're going to practice a rally robin, which is going to be, we don't get to do this in math very much because most of the time math, there's one answer. There's a couple ways we can get there, but there's not a lot of different answers to it. There's not a lot of different answers to it, but this is going to be a... Um, rally robin okay which means you and your partner are communicating you're saying a quick short answer one at a time but back and forth so bam 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 okay so if i do this with details you're going to say a detail that you see then the next person is going to respond with one and then you turn around and respond right back with one okay is there anybody who would like to model with me and be my partner real quick if you think you understand what i'm talking about all right, um, Emery, we're gonna start. So if I, if you are the dirtiest shoe number, or letter A, show me with your hand, show me with your hand. You are going to start. B people, you're going to say the second one. You're gonna have one minute. You're gonna have one minute. Go. Robin taking turns to a quick share okay 
Um, and we don't get to do that one very much. All right. Um, so here we just talked about details, that depth and complexity details. That adds in to the yeah. picture to make it more interesting with it. Okay. So when you're doing that, here I want you to now focus on what is going to be the big idea. What is going to be the big idea? We've talked about this for reading and in math with our word problems. What is this mainly about? You can also make this connection with art. If I was going to make this as a title, what would I call, what would the name of this painting be? Sometimes you can use those details to help you create your big idea. Or I can think about it, my big idea has all of these details. You can kind of go both ways with it. When you have thought of an idea, I want you to tap the top of your head because you want to have something to share with your partner. So think about what could the big idea here be? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. All right, so you're tapping the top. Now my A people shared first. So now my B people are going to share or my A people, you are being the listener. the listener. There you go. You know this routine. Go. The main idea is the artwork. That don't have faces, have faces. Okay, now my listeners. Now my listeners, you may share. So you think that's the main idea? The, the theme, the main idea, the theme. Faces on things that don't have faces. So put like. All right, I'm going to do a randomizer that's going to connect house points for you to share. I'm going to give you the option. You can share your big idea or you can share your um, partners. Sometimes you may realize, oh, I liked what I heard. Oh, I'm doing the randomizer. Let's hear from random, random. It is Austin. Oh, I knew. Okay. I think the main idea is, that, is about putting shapes in the picture. Okay, so it could be adding shapes in the picture. What shapes are you um, talking about? Squares, triangles, rectangles, hearts, circles. Okay, so adding in a lot of shapes. So you did say the main idea. So what depth and complexity icon is that connecting to? Um, big idea. The big idea. So here, because we talked a lot about, because you learn all of these skills that go and connect with it. So it could be that. All right, um, let's go ahead and hear from, oh, let me give your house points. Um, Emery. The depth uh, and complexity. Like, Use the depth and complexity. Um, like, like all the okay, so it could just be to have, do you think the purpose of the big idea for this painting would be colors? Um, like, no, it would, be, it would be like the colorful city. There we go. I liked how you just said, no, it's the colorful city. Give me a thumbs up if you could see here why the title of this could be Colorful City. Okay. All right. Um, let me give you house points. And one more. Let's hear from... We're not leaving the room, sweetie. Um, oh, that's in a different class. Here we go. This is all the third graders. Um, let's have... Bella. I think the big idea is Okay, so that all the buildings have faces. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you think that they're trying to um, tell you anything through the faces? Uh, like they're silly and happy. Okay, so maybe their emotions, they're showing you that. Okay, I have a question. If anybody, talk, put your hands down. You know the question. If you had anything to do with this or this in your big idea, when would you say then? I said like, like with 
like one side is like all the like bright neon okay. kind of ish colors. See, and, see. and the other side is like kind of some of the dark ish colors. Okay. Okay, so you're saying that this side is brighter than this side. Give me a thumbs up if you agree with that. Okay. You think kind of that same thing. How um, could you create a big idea for this painting? Talking just a little bit about that, but really having a comparison here. Collins? Okay, so... I, I've heard this today because I know y'all just did communities. Is this an urban an example of an urban community? Yes. yes. It is. Okay. So this is. Do you what? It would be very crowded if I had people. There we go. So this is a very crowded community, which is showing you that it is urban. Okay. But what what is this detail adding to our big idea? Big what do you think that's do? Who said it? Me. Tell us. Mm. One side is night and the other is day. Yes, you're almost, I thought you were going to nail it, but yes, that is a good, you realize that these are a little bit lighter. They're a little bit lighter because the sun, the sun which the sun is, is showing. It's, it's oh, reflecting the light. light. Yeah, but what is, what? what it's making it's the buildings stupid. brighter. Tell us. It's making the buildings, uh, the color lighter. Yes, but the sun is showing that this part of the city is it's bright. bright. Day. day. There we go. So that's day. So this one is showing, do you see how it's kind of two different, it's split in half? Uh-huh. Can you by observe that? Top, top. It's split in half yeah. by the top one. Yeah, so we have, yes, so this one is kind of the splitting side. Yeah. So over here, this is representing day, day and, and night. 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 But I can go and pull in what Emery said, that this is a crowded urban, urban, urban community, community that is showing a lot of day, day and, and night. night, okay? Because do um, towns look the same in day and night? No. no. Okay. So this could sometimes be day and night. Barker, sometimes. Oh. Oh, um, oh, yep. Here. So our purpose for math today is a raise. Okay. So here I can see that, yes, I have lots of windows. And when you go and create, you're going to use windows to show your rays. Okay. This is going to be a little bit of freedom because you're going to have, you can choose, do I want to use rectangles? Do I want to use squares? Do I want to use uh, circles? Do I want to do a different kind of shape? We did this But you are going to have to make sure that your arrays are going to be nice and straight. Here, the, this is creating one row, second, third, fourth. So this is going to be a four times first column, second column. So this is gonna be a four times two for the array. If I go over here and look at this one, is this really a correct array? No. Not really. No. So this building is just showing windows, okay? So as we go and look, we are going to see some good examples of arrays, some that are not as strong. Up here, if I just look at this segment of the building, do I see an array here? Yeah. Yes. What multiplication fact? Uh, you can well, pop corn. Oh, it's it's three times times four. Four times uh, just look right here. It's not gonna be a three. Oh, rows and columns. So how four many? Times how, two times four. how many rows? Two. One. Two. One, two, two and how many four. columns? Four. four. So what multiplication fact? A two times. Four, okay. Okay. Here, if I go and look above it now, see where my, I'm framing an array. Yeah. Okay. That would be a one, two, three times one, two, three. I'm gonna have to leave off. I'm gonna have to leave off this part and this bottom part. Okay. I'm gonna challenge you when you go to create that you're making the three multiplication facts that you're going to show. I want you to have your array nice and neat and that's the only thing on there if you're going to add extra buildings then you can go and do something like this that's not showing an array but you're going to have three buildings that you're going to create an array like this okay, okay. all right we're going to keep going with we've got we're going to look at some art and then i'm going to let you design okay this one yeah this one's here do i still see day and night yes yes but 
<gasps> birds and other okay. things. There's lots of other what things. Is, is this beautiful. one, if I was going to say, if I was going to compare from this one to here, I would say this one is much more crowded. crowded. What? Okay, busier, crazier. There we go. Okay. All right, so uh, we're going to go ahead and turn and talk. This time, um, I'm going to have our B person start. Our B person start. We're going to go through details again because today our biggest focus is big ideas and details. Then we're going to talk about a couple of multiple perspectives. Okay? My B person. You ready? Yes. We're going to do Rally Robin again. Quick, 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 quick. We're lot. doing depth and complexity details. Okay? So here, am I going to say that a building is a detail? No. 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 Okay? I need a smaller detail than that. Okay? Uh, oh, oh, oh. Don't tell me all. In a minute, you're going to have a chance. You want to keep those in your head. Okay? Are my B people ready? Nod your head if you're ready, B people. One minute, go. trying to see which ones are kind of the strongest details. So some of the things that I saw were you were going and talking about the different faces. So you use all of those emotions because all are, are all of the faces the same? No. 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 Okay. So I heard happy face, smiley face. Um, there was one that said upset, one eager. Uh, here, I did hear someone say a cat face. Over here, the birds, what are the birds doing? Flying. flying. So I heard someone say flying birds. Over here, what's the smiley face? Or the sun? Uh, smiling. It's smiling. So, okay, so it's, is it just a sun? No. No, no it is a, a smiling sun. Okay, so you could use, I did hear, well, this is a painting. So can I go and hold this in my hand? No. No, so this is going, it may look like it is because of how they did the shading with it. But this is a painting, so it is going to be a two-dimensional. Yep. Okay. Um, oh, the last one I did hear. I just had it. Um, oh, the teeth. Someone was talking about the teeth because some sometimes they're lips that are all different, but then sometimes there are teeth. Okay. Thanks. Right now, I want you to see if you can find, if you can identify a good, strong example of an array. I want you to see if you can, if, if I go back to this one, remember this is a good strong example. This one is a little weaker because it's broken up into different sections so that whole building is not really? an array. I want you to see if you can identify one. Oh. With the whole building is the same array. The whole building? Yep, the whole, I want you to look for the whole building is the same array. Oh, 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 I shouldn't hear anything. Austin, you think you see one? Yeah. All right, come show me. I actually got two. Um, it's this one and this one. Um, okay, so here, um, how many are in a row? Three. How many are in a row right here? Oh. Two. Two. But hold on. So this is this is going to be the one that is going to be the closest. But he, he flashed. He said, oh. But, so thank you. So here, and then what, what else is at the top of it? Oh, 
one and two. So this is kind of, I'm trying to trick you here. I know. Because, nope, nope. There's not any true strong examples of just one building showing an array. You'll show me how the, one of the three ways you sit on the carpet. You'll show me one of the three ways you sit on the carpet, please. Thank you. I know we're getting excited about the art, okay? Um, but there's not, there's not a true example of one building having an array. I can go and identify parts of an array. Like I can go here, how he said, that would be a three by three. I'm trying to show you what I don't want. I want to look at his work and kind of get some brainstorming ideas. But I want you to see what I don't want to do is all of here because like here well there's an extra one over here well there's a two but there's a one but there's a two okay so here there's not any true examples of arrays but i can see in my head how to plan it better so that i can make an entire building and array here they're all just kind of everywhere yeah. okay all right oh, this is go oh, yeah Woo. this picture this picture just got even busier. Okay. Oh, hold on. I'm going to give you some thinking time. Okay. So right now, I just want you to observe because there's a lot going on. So just observe. Just, just observe. This one you're going to have. Well, is it Chicago? No. No. What, okay. So it tells you, but what is this? Actually, what's this word? My, my New York City. So this is coming my from this. Oh, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. Okay, you don't have a question yet. Here, this is from the artist's perspective because it has the word my. So this is his view of New York City. We're going to talk about multiple perspectives. Remember, you put those eyeglasses on you see a different view. Sometimes this is a hard one for us because you haven't had that experience, okay? This is a different lens. This is seeing something a different way. So I'm gonna challenge you right now. This is the hardest one we're gonna do right now. I'm gonna challenge you to what other perspective, if I was gonna go right now and paint New York City, what other perspective could I get it from? This is looking from it from Mr. Uh, James Rizzi's view. Yeah. This is his perception of New York City. This is how he wanted to create it. But there's lots of different characters. So think characters. Does a character have to be a human? No. No. So there's lots of different characters in here that we could change and do a new painting with a different perspective of New York City. Okay, I want you to think real quick. When you have identified one that you think could be a multiple perspective, really think about a character. There are some nouns that you could do because I could do it from the view of a couple of different things on here. But when you have an example, if you will just put your hand on top of your head, show me that you're ready to share with your partner. So if I was going to do a new painting from a different perspective, multiple perspectives, from this painting, who could I do or what could I do that perspective from? You're showing me you're ready. Because I like to have everybody enough. Here. All right, I think we're back to A's. Okay, my A people, you start. Multiple perspective could be respond, and my B people, you are being a good listener until it's your turn. Go. Okay. I see the moon, the sun, and now I and I'm a person inside of it. Okay, but you're talking about what perspective? So what perspective could you paint it from? I see the moon, I see the sun, I see the moon, I see are you an A or a B? Okay. Okay, just talking about a perspective. I No, not What have y'all said? I said I painted from 
All right, my other partner, you may talk and share. Amaya, Amaya, you've been talking both turns. You're only, are you A or B? I'm A. Okay, so it's B's turn. Green or purple. All right, so I was listening to some of the perspectives that I, I heard, okay? So one of them that stood out was, you could write the perspective from being the biggest building in the city or in the painting because you would be looking down at everybody else, down at the city. So you would have, kind of do that with me. You would have the down view. That would be a different perspective, okay? Um, then I heard someone talk about being on the boat because that's gonna look different than what we just experienced, looking down at a city to being in a boat. Because here, I'm, if I'm just looking straight out, I would see this view. But if I glance up, then I'm gonna see those tall, huge buildings. So does that perspective change on how you see things, how you view things? Yes. Yes, okay. Um, then I did hear someone talk about the birds. Doesn't matter, there's birds everywhere. Because birds are going to be even taller than, at times, possibly taller than the building. Taller than the building. And I did hear someone say, well, you could be, because a couple of these you can see that there's people inside the building. Yeah. Because their perspective is going to be different. Because down here on the street and even sometimes on the water, if you've been to a big urban city, it's loud and busy. But if I'm inside one of the offices working, is it going to be that loud? No. no. You may hear, I may hear honking and some talking, but it's not going to be as loud and as busy. You kind of, you know how, how we come in and calm down? That is going to be a much calmer feeling. So your perspective is going to be changed. And if I'm, gonna, if I'm in a building to see all of this, I'm physically going to have to stand up, go walk to look out of a window. window. Am I going to see everything? No. 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 Everybody make a window. So if I'm only looking out of a window, oh, I'm going to wait for all windows. Do I have the same perspective as now? Put your hands down. Do you have the same perspective? No. 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 That's a great example of multiple perspectives. Okay. So here you can kind of just kind of get in a feel for it with the different perspectives. Okay. We are going to go start planning your art. So what I need is on the playing field, I want tall, strong mountains. You're ready for cooperation challenge. I want tall, strong mountains. There's also aliens. But yeah, there. I could have done, you could have done that view from the aliens. That is a good one. Oh, that's on a mountain. Looking for my tall, strong mountains. By the count. By the count of four. By the count of four. I want to see a group that is showing me equal to the number of sides on a square. Four, three, two, equal to a square. Three, two, one, use your communication skills, and zero. Okay, so here, were we super strong today? Do we communicate well? No, so is there a reason we have two people here? Because you're looking for people. And Did you actively super hard, strong look? Okay, observation deck. Did we solve our problem? Try to get comments. Did you solve your problem? No. Observation deck. All right. So my friends, I've got four. I've got four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right. My friends who are left. My friends who are left. Spread out. I want to see tall, strong mountains. My observation. What is your job right now? If you'll get on the playing field for me. What is your job right now? To look and watch. And what are we watching for? 
Cooperation. Cooperation and because some of us over here, we didn't use our voice as a strong communication tool. So that's what we're watching for. Okay. By the count of three, going quicker. By the count of three, I want to see a group. Show me the number of sides on a triangle. Three, two, one, and zero. Okay. So over here, what did we see that was strong? Or what did you hear that was strong? Marlos? Um, Kayla and Bella were calling CC. They were calling CC. Okay, so why did y'all have to call for CC? Because we only Cause had we saw her. You only? Okay, so she didn't have somebody and y'all needed someone. All right, anything else that you saw? Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Um, like, I saw, like, I saw, like, um, like, everybody get together. And, like, I saw, like, the same thing. The same thing? Yeah, that was probably the strongest moment that stood out, okay? All right. Okay, here. We are, let me look and see. Okay, drop your hands. Strong, tall mountains. My plane field. Can you join the observation deck for me? Use your communication. Did I say it backwards? Observation deck. Join the plane field. We're going to use strong communication to make sure. Oh, over here, over here. Over here so you don't get left out, baby. All right. By the count of three, I'm going to stick out a three count. By the count of three, I want to know what the total would be if you added three plus two. Three plus two. Three. Two. One. And zero. Let me see a group. 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 Whoop. Oh, you got to be there about zero. Okay. Uh, so here, Nathan, quickly, why did you quickly step out? Well, because I tried to find, like, someone, but, like, people kept, like, getting crowded. Okay, but what reason did you just step out of here? Oh, excuse me. Because, my voice is on. Well, because I saw that they already had a group of three. I mean, I mean, a group of five. I'm just saying, you counted five. Group okay, of five. so group of five. Because if he would have stayed in here, what would have happened? Six. He would be out and You'd be six. six. Okay. All of us would be and out. And out. All right, so thank you for making a strong choice. You're staying. Oh. All right, so here, I'm going to, is there a, uh, drop your hands. By the count of three. We're saying at a three count. Uh, uh, yep, threes, you got to move quick. Okay. <laughs> Which I would say today, I'm seeing that we are, I feel like we are a little bit weaker with our communication than we usually are. Okay, usually someone's like, we need five in a group, we need six in a group. No, don't come to us, okay? So just make sure that your um, communication is strong. By the count of three, I'm sticking with the three. I want to see a group, try to get a new group that you haven't been with. Okay. So a new group that you're not currently with. I want to see a group, show me the si number of sides on a triangle. Three, two, one, and a, Woo, zero, zero, zero. Okay, what could have made this a stronger choice? What stronger choice could we have had here? They could have called each They could have called, or some of, somebody that was here by Nadia, what could you all have told her? Yes, because you knew, you were watching and saw that, oh, they only have two people and there's one person here, okay? So that's what I'm saying. Today our communication is a little weak. So I do want to challenge you right now because you're about to go plan with your group. So we need to have strong communication, okay? All right. Gentlemen, if you'll come to this table. Yes, ma'am. All right. Um, Nadia, if you'll go to your group, go to the second table. Um, all right, girls, if y'all come right here. Your group, if you'll go to the tall table. Gentlemen, gentlemen, are we going to be able to work together in this group of three today? I, yes. Yeah. That's what I hope. You hope or can we do it? I can do it. I think we can do it. Okay, because part of your grade is going to be teamwork, cooperation, and getting your job done by focus. We can do it. Okay, middle group. Girlies, girlies, here we go. Y'all are going to be the, the um, white table. Okay. Focus, focus. All right, so we are going to... I'm going to show you what our planning sheet is going to look like, okay? 
If you'll make your the smart board your focal point. You are going to right now decide what is your big idea for your city creation. How did you decide that? And what three important details are you going to show? Okay, so I want to recap real quick. So you're going to be creating, Gwen, you'll go ahead and get it on a stool for me. You're going to be creating a picture showing buildings as the focal point. We are also going to have three art elements that you're going to be graded on. In just a second, I'm going to give you your rubric so that you get your grade. You know how you're going to get your grade. But I want to give you this first so that you realize when you start planning and designing, your art, T, and we talked about this over here, was balance. This is the organization of your elements. So I'm going to have lots, my, a lot of my elements today are going to be buildings. Okay? So we're going to have, I'm going to wait till we're focused. A lot of your elements are going to be buildings. So I need to make sure that the balance of my buildings is correct. I'm also going to have the proportion. Because on the pictures that we looked at, were all of the buildings the exact same size? No. no. Okay. So you're going to work on the proportions. That's the comparison of the sizes. Okay. Then the last one is you're going to be graded on your understanding of operation. Okay. Those are the three things that you're going to have for your art teeth today. Your math is that you can correctly show, just like right here, the array on a building with nothing else on it. Okay. But we talked about the big idea and details. So you're going to, as a group, remember, we don't have anybody that's a boss or a director. Everybody gets a chance to share. Then as a group, you're going to decide on what is our big idea going to be and what are those three details going to be. So like in the one that we had the day and night, so it, that big idea there is day and night in New York City. That last one that we looked at that it's everything and it's super, super busy, yep. it could even be your big idea, busy New York City or crowded New York City or the life of New York City, then add in your details, okay? So this is your chance. You are super creative. I'm not going to tell you the, the ones that I've had today already because I don't want to put anything in your brain, but they have been super cool. So I want you to talk about what would be something neat because, yes, you're going to show the buildings. Yes, some of his artwork had faces. You don't have to have faces on yours. But what theme... I'm going to wait for focus. What theme do I want to show? What big idea do I want to show in my art? You're going to kind of look and see that you may even change a couple of times into yours that, oh my gosh, this would be super, super fun. Okay? So right now, go ahead and take turns talking about ideas for what's your big idea for this painting could be. Uh. Cece, what you need, baby? I did move them today, so I can put the camera up. It's over there. Make sure you're working on the big idea first. All right, girls, we should be here talking and planning about your big idea. Okay, I think our big idea is the new I want the big idea first. You need the big idea first. Yeah, but what are you going to show in that? Because we're all going to have buildings. So what is the big idea of your artwork going to be? I think the big idea 
Can our places be like rural or suburban areas? Yes. I have a question. Do you have to show New York City here? No. No, you don't have to. You can show like a little city. Does it have to be a real city? No. No? You can make a big city. I will say I have had a underwater city today and a city in the clouds. Those have been two big ideas. That would be your so that would be your big idea, and then you would talk about the details that you would know if it's another city. Yeah. Yeah. Those are some good big ideas that you could do. Got about 30 more seconds. 30 more seconds. Okay, so you're getting into the details. Iker, you're getting into the details. Have you talked about what the big idea would be? Have you talked about what the big idea could be? Yes. So what did y'all what do y'all think? So the big idea is basically the create like the creation of like because we're gonna draw like in like a road or like a street that's actually coming to people. Like we're asking bankers and where the school is, we're gonna try to draw that area. So I think the main idea for ours is to like try to make the stuff kind of realistic. Okay, so realistic. So, uh, what is realistic about it? What are you trying to represent? Like, you actually put the name of the road. Yeah, but what is all of that? Where is all of that? Is that in New York City? No, it's, it's in Tyler. It's in Tyler. So, your big idea would be Tyler. Tyler. Then, the Austin Bank would be the details. <laughs> Focus, focus. You're going to give me a hand signal to show if we have a big idea. We have talked about a couple, but we need to finalize our decision. We've just talked about a lot of big idea examples or ideas, okay, to kind of show me, okay? If you are at a thumbs up, amazing. I'm going to give you your planning sheet. Okay, you're going to write what is your big idea at the top and why did you pick that? This is not go write your details yet because I want you to talk with your voice first. Then you're going to put on your paper the three most important details that connect back to your main idea. Okay, I want that last. You're going to do your details last. Okay, um, here our main ideas, are they like... A paragraph? No. No, most of the time they're short and simple because like we said earlier, the day and night in New York City, okay? Or day, daytime, nighttime. That is your big idea. That is not a paragraph. Um, I did, you do have a couple of lines, just as some of y'all write a little large, but do you have to fill this all up? No, because you may only have one word. This group only has one, I know they have one word. Okay, all right, if you are in the middle, you're in the middle, y'all need to quickly make your final decision, okay? All of your supplies that you are gonna need today are at your table. What did y'all decide on? But it's okay, I can have. What did y'all decide on? We decided to make it like, Okay, hold on. She was talking first. Um, like, it was like, we were doing like a heaven thing, like for God. Okay, I heard y'all say that, but I wasn't sure if you finalized that. Okay. Yeah. All right, what did y'all decide on your big idea? A beach city. A beach city. Okay, that'll be a fun one. 
Your details, your details will make that fun. What did y'all decide on? Fictional words. What? Our fictional. Place. A fictional. I thought you said dictional, and I was like, I don't know what that word is. Okay, but are you going to do fiction or nonfiction? Which one are you going to do? Fiction. Because you just said both, but I want to I want to make sure we're clear with it. Fiction. Fiction. Okay, that can be a fun one. So maybe so since we're doing a city, you call it like fiction city. <laughs> we're thinking magic. What's a big idea? All right. Well, you could do magical fiction city. Okay. All right. What did y'all have? Y'all decided on a big idea, gentlemen? Yes. Like the in rain the rainforest. Forest. Like in the rainforest. The rainforest city. And like a swamp on the tree, or like so a that's gonna be a what? Uh, Is a sloth going to be a big idea? No. It's gonna be a what? A detail. A detail. All right. Okay, and if you need to get something else for your body instead of a wiggle seat, make that happen. All right, ladies, have y'all made a decision? Um, no, because we thought we were each going to get a paper. We, oh, we're deciding. Yes, I know, we're deciding which one because we got three. We, okay. we think of one. Okay, so what have, what have, what have y'all talked about so far? Um... All the fruits? You like the graveyard. No! Okay. We will not like the graveyard. Okay, so a graveyard is an idea. What else? I'm, I'm listening. listening. The, the city of clouds. A city of clouds. Okay. That's mine. Okay. Oh, mine? The city of aliens. City of aliens. Okay. Well, I do have a suggestion since you're saying aliens and you're saying a graveyard. What's coming up that these kind of have in common a little bit? Dead people. <laughs> yeah, but what's coming up that we celebrate? Some people celebrate the Day of the Dead. Okay, ah. well that I wasn't thinking of that one, but that ooh, that one would be a fun one. I did have um, one group. They did um, a parade in Mexico City. I think that one's gonna be fun. You could do Day of the Dead. There's something else too. Scary things. Yeah, so scary. Yeah, I'm saying if you wanted to, because y'all are kind of saying that you could make it a Halloween city. I'm just kind of combining the all the ideas. And people would. Or the city you, of or horror. you want to do Day of the, the Dead. City of horror. And they're like walking like the city of horror. Okay, so are those people gonna be your your focal point for it? <laughs> no, no. What's the focal point for your city? Zombies. The buildings? Oh, right. The zombies would be a But the but the fingers could be like Yeah, but that would be a what? In the building. This you know what we in the could, building. Like, yeah, it could be in the building, building, but it's going to be a... No, detail. It's going to be a detail in your town. There you go. All right, so y'all are going to go with Halloween? Yes. Halloween City? Okay, if you want to make a fun game with it, you can. All right, I think... Did I already ask girl? Have y'all made a decision with it? Michaela, what do you need, sweetie? Because her dad accidentally spelled the wrong Okay, well, let's we just do our best with spelling. I think it's yes. Yes, you can get started with your yeah, it's an old one. All right, so gentlemen, y'all, are y'all still secretly with Tyler? Um, yes. Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. yes. Okay. All right, so make sure. We're gonna put Tyler Texas to back to another. They're probably. No. I bet they're in. Thinking the one. All right. Okay, so y'all. Sorry. Okay, but you're big. So what did y'all tell me your big idea was? Oh, the big idea, like, celebrating. Uh, Didn't y'all say, like, Heaven City or something? Oh, yeah. Here, so put that. Oh, uh, no, don't worry, stop, don't worry. So put it right there. Uh, All right, let me check our time so I can keep you going. Okay, you're going to have about three minutes about three minutes before we start wrapping up for today. Okay, so I'm gonna double check in with our objective. Um, you have three minutes to talk and get on your paper the three most important details that you're going to show to represent your big idea. So I'm gonna give here, like they're doing a Halloween city. Here, they're actually gonna do Tyler, Texas. Here they're doing one, a heaven city. Oh, wait, where is y'all? I don't remember. Beach city. A beach city. So there's, do you see how they're all gonna be different types of cities? Some are fictional, over here's fictional city. And y'all, rainforest. rainforest. Okay, I'm sorry. I've done this all day, I'm sorry. Um, Here, 
Hold on. So I want you to think about the details. We don't need scissors. We just need a pencil. Thank you. You are writing the details that are important to your big idea. You need three of them in about two and a half, three minutes now. Let's go. All right, and Cece, I think I moved um, the hand sanitizer. I can grab it for you. Okay. You had it, Austin. Why did you erase it? Oh, beat. Remember that's cooperation and teamwork. Okay, y'all get it on there and then let's go because y'all got three details. All right, see, are you done? Okay, so why should I? Go throw it in the trash and I'll get hands in and press it If I don't know my street, can I just make up one? Yeah, yeah, but aren't y'all doing kind of like, didn't y'all talk about kind of right here around? Yeah, but um, we're going to do like all house, all our houses in one of the city. Okay, so you have a small picture. But the things that so we're So you want to make sure that you're focusing on the buildings or your focus. But, yeah, our house is going to be in the, uh, in the main. Okay. All right, do you have three details? Um, we're trying to. Oh, no, you're not. Three details. You already have this. You have each city. So you need three details. One, two, three. Nope, three details. One, two, three. All right, we finished. All right, magical fiction. All right, so three details. We finished. Three is one all right, go ahead and tell me what kind of animals you're going to try to show. Are y'all going to try to make the buildings look like an animal or like an animal face or something? Yeah. No, yeah. we're going to make like a mess. Because this one will like look the animals. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're going to... That one. Okay, you've got about one minute. One minute. Okay. Oh, y'all need to hurry. Y'all don't have your details. Oh. Y'all okay. talked about it a lot, but you haven't... How did you... How did you decide? I want you to have your details so that you don't forget for tomorrow at your plan time. Okay. What are the important details? Yep, three details. Okay. Okay. All right. All right, do we have our three details? Yeah, we're doing our all right. Okay, I've got two groups. Two groups. Uh, we're about to wrap up. We're gonna wrap up. Make sure we've done our objective. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, got two groups, two groups. If you will leave the supplies in um, the caddy or the basket that is at your table, I am going to quickly, you'll go, oh, we're almost done. Let's stay strong. One minute. Oh, going to wait till we're strong. All right, if you will go ahead and make your focal point the objective for today, we're going to double check in to make sure, not double check in, we're just going to check in to make sure that this is what we did today. Did we look at, oh, going to wait till I'm everybody's focal point. So if your eyes are not on me or the objective, I'm waiting. Oh, Maya, make me your focal point is right away. Here, did we look at this artwork today by James Rizzi? Yes. 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 Okay. Did we do depth and complexity? Yes. yes. Raise your hand if you can tell me one depth and complexity we focused on. Austin? Multiple perspectives. Perspectives. That is a hard one to say. Good job. All right. What's another one we worked with? Another one. Nadia? Big idea. And the last one. Yes, sir. Details. 
details, okay? Um, so we did that today. Did we begin, did we start forming, planning your creation for your artwork today? No, ma'am. Some people. You didn't start planning at all? Yes, yes we did. Yes. You did? Hold on, hold on. I, I should not hear you. You did because what did you just, did you make any decisions for your art yes. today? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because you made. Y'all are going to be the heaven city. So you have your decisions. You may not have a plan of exactly what it's going to look like, but you have an idea here that you have decided this is going to be my city, and these are going to be three details. Tomorrow, we will finish up. We will create it. I'm going to give you your multiplication, three facts that you're going to show on at least three of those buildings and I will give you the rubric so that you understand where your grade is coming from, okay?